it's like 88, 88% of students thought that um, the stuff in school wasn't as relevant as it should be. And 96% of teachers thought that it should be more relevant to the students to make them more engaged. So both people wanted to just you know, try and do something about it. 50% of the students believe that teachers encourage them to do their best, but only but 95% of the teachers believe that they encourage students to do their best. So I kind of see a lack of communication there. 95% of students disagree that teachers do not stereotype students as far as a group. As 77 percent of teachers agree that they don't care if kids are part of a group, so I think there's a definite lack of communication, and we need to be able to fix that. In this two-hour data analysis session, Twinfield Union students review the data from the student and teacher surveys they just administered to get a baseline of rigor, relevance, relationships, and shared responsibility at their school. The goal of this session is to identify one to two major strengths and major concerns in each one of those domains. Now, teacher Mary Whalen introduces the task to the group. 11% strongly agree. Read the number, then go to the top of the column. So you really get in your head thinking about the percentages. Um, it's a habit that after a while it will become easier. So don't feel overwhelmed at first by looking at the numbers and trying to interpret them. Really take your time to go and go ahead and go to the top of the column and say percent strongly agree or percent somewhat agree. disagree. A new number that's on this sheet that you haven't seen yet are the totals. So what I did is I totaled um, based on Evan's um, suggestion the other day. He said he would really it would be easier. Um, for him to see the two variables, strongly disagree and somewhat disagree, combined into one percentage for disagree. So I've just saved you a step, so you don't have to add those together. Okay, so you all have this sheet that explains to you what the different choices are for each data point, okay, or each question. It correlates with the group tally sheet. Okay, so each group will have one of these sheets where you identify strength, concern, puzzling gap, neutral for the student question and the teacher question. And then you write your comments as <coughs> which statistic causes it to be puzzling or neutral or whatever you choose as a group. It's going to require you to discuss, to listen, to ask those clarifying questions and those probing <coughs> questions. This is the time to apply what you've been working on to your group task to understand this data deeper. The, the deeper you go and the more seriously you take this process, the I think the richer your action project will be in addressing your concerns. Does that make sense? I think it depends uh, on what teachers consider yeah, engaging. Like, and what's right. Is engaging yeah, like doing right. games in the classroom and like doing like fun activities with learning or is it like yeah. is engaging like making the curriculum relevant to someone's life and making it so that they want to like further investigate what you're studying in the class or whatever. I think they could relate that somehow or relate to the world how you Math can is in, like, they say that like the mechanics of music is like something that is crazy interesting to me like we're learning right now about wavelengths and, uh, Precalculus and like, and like we briefly touched upon like wavelengths and different tones of music and that kind of thing. And, and However, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, like if you, I, I, I in that small part that we did on that, I felt like I was participating a lot more because something that I had knowledge of, something that I could like in, 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 like literally engage in, like put my relevance okay. question, relevance question. relationship question. Well, I would. It depends on how, it look, how you look at it. But if I, if you and I have a relationship and I know how into music you are and that, that you are perking up with wavelengths, then I would want to honor that. It's definitely not a gap. You know, right. But, um, but what did you put it as? Puzzling gap? I, I would right put it as a puzzling gap because students are really like 50 50 disagreeing and agreeing. And teachers are like 95%. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Of course, we're making that deviation. And I think it's kind of a gap. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs>
to succeed in college because that's not what's going to be right for most people, or not most people. Yeah. There's probably a good amount of people who yeah, not so what they want yeah. and not what is going to be good for them. But they should feel better even if they aren't going. After each group analyzed their half of the data, they summarized and shared their findings. Um, faculty and staff are respectful to one another. 90% of students think that, 100% of teachers. So we have some good respect to them. 95% of teachers feel that they do check in and that they do, like, with students be like, oh, are you checking in? Oh, do you have your work in? However, 48% of students agree with that. Less than half of the student population thinks that teachers check in with them. And I know personally, I think my teachers could check in with me more. Just, I don't know. How are you doing, Meg? I'm doing good, Ms. Okay. Whalen. <laughs> okay, um, teachers adjust instruction based on what they observe and hear um, students communicate about learning. Once again, teachers really feel that they are um, alternating, being flexible, and changing things to fit student um, want, 95%. But 58%, which is still a little over half, but not like drastically over half of students agree with that. At school, how many adults do you feel you could have talked to if you had a problem? 21% of students report zero adults. And 19% of students report one adult. So, Basically, if you want a good learning experience, you have to be able to, if you have a problem with something, you have to be able to feel comfortable to go up to your teacher and say, can you help me with this? I'm not understanding this. Or to raise your hand. But if that many kids don't feel like they have anyone to talk to, that's a definite problem. The next step in the process is voting for top strengths and concerns or, or puzzling gaps. They know that their votes will direct their future action, and they are choosing issues with the greatest potential impact on improving engagement and learning at their school. So today we yeah, on the top of the accomplished a lot. Um, you're at a place now. I mean, that would this whole process would have been very difficult to do in you know our 40 minutes class time. Okay, so right now we're coming out of this with a pretty clear sense of what the data is going, what the data is going to um, support you in. Okay, so the data, think of the data as a support for your future action. When the folks were standing up here and talking about their observations, they noted what they saw, they gave their opinion, but they backed it all up with data, which I think is pretty impressive. Did you pick up on that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To say 21% of kids, of students, don't have an adult that they can talk to, and 100% of the teachers feel as though they are actively engaged in connecting with students about issues that they have, that's huge. That's why we established the TA system. So using that as an example, we know there are some teachers that really care about making those connections, where if they hear that students might say, oh, from this class based on the data, oh, you know, a third of the students at Twinfield don't have anybody they can talk to, that might make her feel like she's not doing a good job. So that's, that's kind of the reality of why we want to keep this data to ourselves until we can construct the right dialogue around it. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. So let's be guardians of this information with the purpose of using it purposefully, meaningfully, and respectfully. I don't want to let you leave until we hear from everybody. What did this morning mean to you? Okay. What are you leaving? What did you leaving with? What did you learn from the experience? Maybe you had more other opinions other than just your own. Yeah, and you got to see the amount of students who either agree or disagree with like your own beliefs. I would, I would personally rather have seen, like, been able to have a conversation. Like, Your homework is thinking homework. Yes. And it could be, yeah, just thinking homework, not talking homework. Thinking homework. How do we bring the information to students 
How do we bring the information that we choose to focus on to adults? How do we bring the information to the school board? Okay? And how do we bring the information to the community? Okay? How do we... Okay? Think, 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 think. Come in with ideas. Have a great weekend. Go to dance tonight. Make Meg and Ruby and Eliza happy.